Okay, this is the final video um, where we're talking about how to input the formulas for the difficulty and discrimination, discrimination indices for the test of an analysis. The last video we did the discrimination index for the multiple choice items. Now we'll do the discrimination index for the partial credit items. So I'm just going to drag down so we can see what we're looking at here because here's where my partial credit items are. They're items 16 to 20. And here's the number of points each one of those particular items was worth. So over here is we're going to put that formula in. So I'll click on that cell. I'll start with the equal sign like I always do. And I'll need some parentheses for this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the sum of the credits awarded to the top third of the students. And I'll subtract from that the sum of the credits from the lower third of the scoring students. So we'll put a parentheses here first. And I'll type in sum. And then I'll just put another parentheses of these credits from the higher scoring students. And I'm going to just click and drag across, close that range. I'm subtract from that, oops, subtract from that the sum, left parentheses, the credits from the lowest third students, and just drag across that range of those values. Close that parentheses, and now I'll close the whole thing. So I'm subtracting the sum of the lower third of the students from the sum of the higher third of the students. And I'm going to divide that by the value of that particular test item and that is located right over here for this particular item. So I'll click on that and just hit an enter or return and it'll give me the discrimination index for that particular partial credit item. Um, again in this case uh, since it's going to just be using all the data within this particular row I can just go ahead and just fill so I'm going to click and I'm going to drag down. I'm going to fill that formula into these lower cells by going up to the fill option and just say fill down. And so there's the discrimination index for the partial credit items. And as long as the value is um, zero or greater for that matter, um, it is discriminating in the proper manner.